Hey sexy people. Right, as promised, I'm straight into the next video. So Airfix Model World, May 2023, issue 150. We have a Lancaster Mark III, or Lancaster B3 um, special, which is the um, Dan Busters version on the front. We also have this uh, Crusader Mark III, and then we have the Ekranoplan, Ekranoplane that uh, the Soviets were trying to build previously that's rust this lot just been left to rust on the shores of some internal lake i believe right here we go so 54 we've got the lancaster intermediate build upkeep legend celebrating eight years since the famous dam busters raid airfix has reissued its 172 lancaster b3 special with david holmes which david holmes uses to replicate wing commander guy gibson's operation chastise airframe 74 uh with the challenge 2 uh 148 scale from tamia there you go um 28 here we go Little, too little too late border models recently released 135 crusader mark 3 tank situated on a box art inspired base so yeah right so um some of you are probably aware that um, Airfix has released this new starter set of the F-35B um, Lightning II. Uh, I believe this is the one that we're using on our carriers at the moment. We have the new tooling for a 112 scale Bugatti Type 35B from Italeri. Oh, new tool. CH54A Tarhe. So this is essentially the nickname is the Sky Crane. Um, but this is a Sky Crane in 135 scale from Ukrainian firm ICM. And that's great. I love this. This is really nice. Large scale stencil masks from One Man Army. Okay. AK Interactive's all new Land Cruiser. Okay. Uh, for years, models have only been able to build kits of the A10 based on one production air on pre-production airframes. But Academy's new tool, 148 scale A10C, has corrected this oversight. What's this? We have a U-boat, a DKM Type 7C U-boat. Right, what scale is this? This imposing 135 scale kit. Is that a fill, a full build? 60 centimeters long and 16.5 centimeters wide. It's a waterline model with the hull replicated down to the ballast tanks. It's too big, it's big um, at almost 60 centimeters long. So Um, yeah, 60 centimetres, oh, that was handy, but yeah, I'm sure it looked good. Eye-catching dual package, 144 scale Spitfire Mark 1A and BF 109E4. I will do the show guide pictures for people that want to stop and have a quick look. These are April and May. Info Typhoon, what is this? It's time for a trip into the desert as Matthew Porter takes on Edward's 132 scale BF 108 Profi Pack Boxing. 
So, BF108 from Edward, 132 scopes, £34.07 from edward.com. I've never seen this before, so this is new to me. This is cool though, it's a nice little, it's kind of like a dumpy little aircraft. Um, but yeah, it's got that um, German sort of like dark yellow um, base colour with the mottled green spots for the top cover that was seen on a lot of um, Messerschmitts and other aircraft used during the Desert War and then obviously the pale blue on the underside. It's nice though, it's, uh, makes, it's a nice little sort of like alternative interest model too little too late 135 scale crusader mark three from border models now this is 54 pounds 99 and it's available from albiumhobbies.com but it's nicely finished The moulding is excellent with well rendered raised detail. The kit includes some worthwhile photo etch parts and a turned aluminium barrel, but the weapon part proved difficult to use in practice. Ooh, that's interesting. So, pictures here of some of the photo etch parts going into place. Right, investigating the barrel conundrum. The increased diameter, diameter of the lower section plus the muzzle brake prevents fitting from the outside. This left just the styrene example usable with its pleasing alignment system and nonetheless superb detailing. Okay. Nice. Southern Comforts, what's this? Interview. In last month's issue, we asked about scale modelling in the wider world, including celebrity engagement. Wargaming is an important facet of our hobby and hit the news recently when two Royal Navy personnel were pictured playing a game of Warhammer 40k in Antarctica. John Fuller spoke with Lieutenant Max Friswell and Lieutenant Johnny Talbot about their polar experience. <laughs> okay. What have we got? We have Hawk. It's 148 scale from Italeri. It's a Hawk T1. Nice um, grey green wraparound camouflage scheme here. Um, it's 34 99 You can get it from hobbyco.net. I mean, as much as I like 148 scale, um, I just haven't got the space. So yeah, nice, nice looking example. And then we're out and about. Middle Wallop Show 2022, apparently, according to this. <laughs> the Amish Prime Museum Middle Wallop in Hampshire stages for many models. Held on November 27, 2022, this exhibition was no exception. Wow, they're late getting this out. Mind you, I can't talk. Uh, nice Schnell boat. The Revel 172 Kriegsmarine operated S100 fast attack craft, E-boat, of World War II. And that's a Tamiya 135 scale Matilda. So. An exclusive benefit of Airfix is a club for 2023 is a new version of its stunning 172 scale Gloucester Meteor depicting the FR-19. So. I, th I think that's fighter reconnaissance variant, uh, FR9, uh, builds this kit as an RAF photo reconnaissance airframe. Um, price is £30, B 
because as far as I'm aware, this is only available in the Airfix Club subscription at this time. I have done a review of this kit. Upkeep legend, here we go. Right, Avro Lancaster B3 Special Airfix 172 scale, 46 pounds 99 from airfix.com. Um, it's looking really nice now. Builds the modified Avro Lancaster from Wing Commander Guy Gibson. Uh, second only to Spitfire, Avro Lancaster is surely one of the IRS's most famous aircraft. Designed by Roy Chadwick, it originated as the twin engined Manchester, which had a short service career. Improvements to the airframe, including increasing the number of engines to four, and a large in the airframe with the new configuration receiving the name Lancaster. So designed for high altitude night bombing missions deep within Germany, it was a daring low level raid that arguably resulted in the Lancaster's finest hour. So there you go. So this looks like it's they're up, upgrading the um, airframe with photo etch parts and stuff. It's a nice kit, though. Cool. Right, Cobra Eagle. Oh, my, what's this? The F-15 DJ Eagle Aggressor Desert Scheme. That's pretty leery, that. A lionfish's natural camouflage, apparently. <laughs> um, okay, fair enough. Uh, right, anyway, um, it's from Hazagawa, uh, 172 scale, 39.95 from Hazagawa Stockist, it says. That's a striking color scheme. There's a much better shot of it there. Uh, stencils. Okay, since the sequence of painting had been botched, negatives masks were made from the positives to resolve the problem. Colourful aggressors. There you go. Models wanting to build examples of Japanese Air Defence Force Aggressor Training Group F-15 DJ Eagles will find plenty of inspiration in this photo collection. So there's a desert scheme there. Arctic Splinter. That's just kind of like black with white kind of panel lining sort of stuff. So there's our blow tiger fish. Um, and this this color scheme here, reminiscence of the Sukhoi counterpart, uh, begins its final run at turkey feathers in closed power setting. So nice. Here we go, challenger two. 148 scale, um, yeah, I mean 148 scales has been picking up. This is by Tamiya. It's £26.99 from hobbyco.net. Um, it's a nice desert version. Cool sign, 1-1 one, one Bravo. Don't know what it is, but I do think that the Challenger 2 just looks better than the Abrams and the Leopard. I think it's got like sexier lines. Feel free to disagree if you so wish. So nicely done. We've got these um now I think these white panels were for um Vehicle recognition. I, um, I, uh, I 
think that these white panels were part of vehicle recognition scheme. So I think under either like thermals or night vision, they would um, glow or shine or something. I can't remember exactly, um, but they were specifically there for vehicle identification because obviously blue on blue is a major issue. Yeah, that's, that's a nicely detailed, for even for like just 148 scale, it's nicely detailed. Right, carrier killer. So, this, this, I've seen this on that TV program, Abandoned Engineering. Um, and I've seen the footage of it, like literally just kind of like skimming across the water. And it's, it's really impressive. Um, but yes, yeah, as, as I understand, it's just been left. I don't know how many were built, but it's just been left to rot on the side of the water. But I think this would be a really interesting project for those people that are into slightly different, um, like aircraft concepts. But this is from Tacom, it's 144 scale and it's 59.99 from backman.co.uk. And I get the impression that this is still gonna be a bit of a beast of a kit. So the guy who built this for the magazine also scratch built this floating dry dock for it as well. So that's cool. Dry dock detail and they go into detail as to how he built it. <laughs> dry dock detail. Cool. Right. Here we go. On the shelf. Right. Books. We have Phantom 2 Wild Weasel Units in Combat, uh, MiGs in the Middle East, Soviet designed combat aircraft in Egypt and Syria 1963 67, AMX Brazilian Italian Fighter Bomber, uh, To Save an Army, the Stalingrad Airlift. To Save an Army, Stalingrad Airlift. Now, is this for the Luftwaffe's airlift operations during that battle? Right, Wings of the Black Cross, number 13. Eagle Edition's latest issue of its popular Luftwaffe aircraft reference series offer yet more fascinating period of photos and artwork. Uh, we then have a Saunders Row SRA-1. Uh, extra kits, new tool, 172 scale, Saunders Row SRA-1. It's £26.99 from hanance.co.uk. And then we have a Mirage 2005F. Uh, 172 scale from Models Vit. Uh, it's 38 euro 16 from modelvits-shop.com forward slash en. Then we're into the aircraft kits and we have a BF 110G 4 in 172 scale from edward.com, uh, 20 pounds 82. Uh, the Heinekel from Airfix, uh, HE111P2, $33.99 from airfix.com in 172 scale. We have a 132 scale Stearman PT17 Cadet, or Cadet. That's £45.99 from revel.de forward slash en. And then 
special hobby, uh, AH1G Cobra, Marines US Navy, 132 scale, 62 euros from specialhobby.eu. Uh, FRS1 Sea Harrier, 172 scale, £24.99 from Italeri from hobbyco.net. And then we have a couple of OV-10A Broncos. Uh, Desert Storm US Aircraft, OV-10A um, and OV-10D. And that's £75.80, 148 scale from hanance.co.uk. Uh, 135 scale from IBG mail, uh, models. Um, €36.50, ibgmodels.com. This uh, Panzerkampfwagen 2, ALF A2, German light tank. So these were the things which these and the Panzer threes predominantly took part in the operations in Poland at the outbreak of the war. Right, here we go. From TACOM in 135 scale, we have a VT-12. Now this is interesting because this has got two barrels in a tank superstructure. There's no turret here. Featuring an experimental Cold War design as one of its latest releases in the shape of the Maschinenbau Kiel V2 VT12 twin barreled turretless main battle tank. Interesting. Uh, PLA ZTL 11 assault vehicle uh, from Dragon 172 scale 2499 from hobbyco.net. We have the uh, also, again from IBG, uh, Panzerkampfwagen uh, 70P, 731P, 70P tank in German service. Um, uh, like I say, IBG models, so ibg.com.pl, 36 euros and it's 135 scale. We have the Stum Panzer Brumbar, uh, mid version, 135 scale from Airfix, 45.99 from airfix.com. We have the French Leclerc T5 main battle tank in 172 scale from Revel. Uh, it's nice to see other countries getting, you know, usually it's like Soviets, Americans, British. But it's nice to see other countries coming in with armour kits as well, being represented. Um, anyway, it's from Revel. It's £22.49 and it's revel.de forward slash en. And then we have from ICM, 135 scale, £32.99 from hanounce.co.uk, the O234-76. Uh, so, ICM's 135 scale T34 tank have appeared since the kit's initial release in 2015, but it's taken until now for the Ukrainian firm to add the OT flamethrower equipped variants and there you go that's what the OT 3476 is we then have uh, a 3d puzzle of the back to the future DeLorean time machine 29 euros 99 from revel.de forward slash en um, yeah there's no scale we then have some German industrial tractors D 8511 mod 1936 with cargo trailer 135 scale from mini art 5199 from mini art hyphen models dot uh, com and then from Italeri we have a BMW 320 GR5 in 124 scale uh, 3699 from hobbyco.net and then we're into the decals. North American F100D Super Sabre Collection Part 3 uh, in 132 scale, 36.95 from fantasyprintshop.co.uk. North American B25 J Mitchell Part 1 Royal Australian Air Force in 148 scale. This is Ask Distribution, 18.70 euro from uh, artscale.eu. Avro Anson Mark 1 Collection. Part one, uh, extra decal, 148 scale, £9.99 from hanance.co.uk. Westland Whirlind collection in 172 scale from extra decal. 
£8.99 from hanance.co.uk and then the Curtis Hawk H81-A2 uh, P40B uh, Part 1 Pearl Harbor Defenders so there you go these are 148 scale from Ask Distribu Distribution from Artscale.eu 12 euros 30 and then back into the aftermarket parts Nothing jumping out at me. Um, Armed Forces of Ukraine acrylics paint set from ICM Scale, £7.40 from hanance.co.uk. Uh, new military accessories by Master Model. So this is interesting. We've got a 75mm barrel for the M3 Lee Grant. And 37 millimeter M6 gun barrel as well. Uh, gun barrel for the M18 Hellcat. Gun barrel for a Tiger One. 88 millimeter. Um, yeah, quite a few different things. 88 millimeters is 0 0.29 feet. Thank you very much, Siri. It was really nice that you were listening in then. You can go back to sleep now. <laughs> Baggage. Right, and then we are into the final bit of advertising and we have Gecko Models ATMP with ammo palette. 135 scale replica of the Supercat all-terrain mobility platform. Uh, what's this, P51? North American Mustang Mark IV. Starter sets are ideal entry points. Airfix is 172 scale Mustang Mark IV depicting the well-known 112 Squadron aircraft. So nice. There you go. I will get the photos sorted. I will get the videos edited and uploaded as quickly as possible. And I will see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye-bye.